Consorting with Spirits, your guide to working with invisible allies by Jason Miller. And there's a little foreword there by Matt Aurin, whom you may recognise from his very popular book, Psychic Witch. And uh, Jason Miller is actually an author whose work I didn't really know, and I'd heard ex excellent things about him. Um, everyone who was uh, talking about him was uh, doing so with the, the highest of praise. And so uh, when I found out that he had a new book coming out, uh, Consorting with Spirits, on a topic that's particularly interesting to me, I thought I would love to find out more about it. And so, yeah, when he put out a, a post on Facebook saying, anyone want to review this? I said, yes, are you kidding? Of course I would. And uh, I have had a blast reading this. I've enjoyed it so, so much. Um, what can I say? Uh, th I think the first thing that I'll say is uh, that I really appreciated this. This should not be your first book on magic. Let me just read to you what he says here. It's not that this is an advanced book. I plan on making things as simple and as straightforward as possible. It's simply that knowing some methods of protection, some uh, basics of spellcraft and having some competency at divination will make the work presented go a lot smoother. Uh, and I think that that's about right, you know. Yes, it, it's not 101, uh, but I think that if you're just starting out and you do have one or two uh, introductory books under your belt, you could do much worse than pick this up to make everything gel, you know, to, 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 to make the concepts crystallize, to, to understand a little bit about the mindset of the, uh, of the practitioner and uh, uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciate the fact that he has got so much experience, okay? So that, that's something that definitely comes across here. He's got experience and not just in one tradition. And that's another thing that, I, you know, I, <laughs> is so refreshing. You know, he, he approaches all of his knowledge from several different perspectives. He's clearly been initiated. I think he actually says, he mentions that he's been initiated into various traditions, including some uh, 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 quite quite straightforward Christians, some rather infernal and some uh, uh, pagan altogether um, and uh, and quite separate from the judeo-christian tradition and uh, and he suggests solutions from at least those three perspectives uh, in everything that he presents here. Uh, he's also clearly spent a lot of time studying and uh, uh, I, I guess also um, experiencing firsthand uh, Tibetan Buddhism, so Vajrayana uh, traditions and, um, and empowerments and so on and so forth. Oh my goodness, so much fun, so much fun. Let me just uh, take you through the table of contents. I think that's probably a good place to start. Um, so we've got this uh, forward, really, really lovely forward that uh, Matt Arwen has written uh, for him there. Uh, yeah, just a, a joy to read. And then his introduction, where he talks a little bit about his approach. Uh, then, yeah, just, uh, as you can see, it's, it's not um, something, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not advanced. It's not, uh, uh, although the advanced practitioner will find so much to enjoy here, uh, I, I wouldn't say that I am an advanced practitioner, but I would say that I've read a few books uh, on, um, uh, on spirit work um, and you know I, I have uh, I have done some spirit work um, and look I think that if you occasionally watch the esoteric Saturday videos that I make here and you actually enjoy them rather than are confused by them then you're going to love this it's uh, it's 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 very much that register okay it's it's written to be understood it's written for the for the clarification of magic not for the uh, edification of the author right it's not written to show you how clever he is it's written um, uh, so that your practice can be improved and that 
by the way, uh, shows how clever the author is. Right, um, uh, let's continue going through these. So modes of, manif modes of manifestation. Uh, I just want to stop at each one of these and tell you uh, uh, how much I've enjoyed it, but um, uh, you can probably guess what, what's going on in here. Uh, he actually just covers, you know, how do spirits manifest? Um, uh, from, you know, from uh, everything from uh, physical manifestation to uh, just um, uh, subtle effects that uh, give you the clue that this spirit has been around kind of thing. But the whole range is covered here uh, and what to think of it and uh, uh, why it works and how it works. It's, yeah, really, <laughs> it's, it's top-notch top -notch, uh, stuff. Spirit skills, respect and authority. I really, really like this chapter as well about uh, uh, his take on the way we talk to spirits. Traditionally, uh, in the modern world, what the pros and cons are in either way. That's another thing that I really like. He's not taking a party and saying, this is the way it must be done. He says, you know, there are pros and cons in both situations. It's probably a good idea to know how to do both, right? <laughs> uh, which I couldn't agree more with. Spe uh, prayers and spells, the difference between the two and, uh, you know, how to do a good prayer, how to do a good spell tips and tricks the whole way. Uh, get to know the locals. Uh, so this is another thing that I is quite close to my heart, right? You know how much I appreciate Josephine McCarthy's take on working with the spirits that are local to the place where you live. Um, uh, and, uh, and this very, very much goes uh, uh, down that route as well as, you know, working with famous spirits and, um, uh, and so on. So yeah, there's really something for everyone. And uh, as I was saying, uh, ways of thinking about all of these things. Fear and danger, friendly conjuring. You see, the, these are all topics that I've covered in my Esoteric Saturday videos. And uh, yeah, his takes, Jason Miller's takes on them are just really interesting, user-friendly and useful. Right, uh, the, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the most important thing, of course, useful. Friendly conjuring versus compelling conjurations. Um, uh, intermediary spirits and fami uh, familiars. Relationships and pacts, how to actually write your own pact and uh, you know how it can be done physically and not necessarily physically. And then uh, there's a whole chapter there on questions and answers. Oh, uh, yeah, really. <laughs> I don't often review paperbacks, you know. Um, uh, I, 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 um, uh, I, I, I like the forms of books. I do find the, um, the, the physical presence of a book to be a, a, a major part of, uh, of a, um, not all reading experiences, but, but uh, you know that I like my pretty books. Uh, here, the text is its own jewel. It really, really is. Uh, and I, I, I strongly recommend this one. I think that anyone, as I say, who has read more than one or two introductory books will thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, the, the, the tips, the, the, the suggested um, uh, practices. Uh, oh, there's a really, really nice practice that he has here uh, for the spirit banquet. Uh, and I don't know if this is something that maybe um, uh, some of you uh, know from his courses. I know that he does uh, courses, but uh, yeah, that was a really, really beautiful practice uh, that he that he uh, offered there, that he suggested. And it, it's the book is cram-packed with um, pragmatic practices. Pragmatic in the sense that he knows what it's actually like to be a practitioner in the 21st century. He knows that you're unlikely to, uh, to, 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 to do all the things that the traditional grimoires expect you to do. And he gives you solutions which are realistic in the modern world for most people. Uh, uh, and I really, I, 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 I can't <laughs> emphasize enough how, uh, how, how appreciated that is. And of course, we've got all this lovely artwork uh, inside. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are several here uh, by, uh, by Debbie Dutton, uh, who um, not only illustrates, but uh, has drawn a few um, 
diagrams to, to better understand, uh, to better well, to better illustrate what uh, what Jason is actually talking about, and then uh, yeah, and then the cover art, of course, by Wojciech uh, Zwolinski of Cambian Art, which is very very nice. There we are. I think that's probably going to be my uh, my, my my take on it. Uh, I think that. Uh, yeah, honestly, whatever your whatever your sensitivities are, I like also the fact that he warns you. You know, if you don't like this kind of thing, like for example, if you don't like blasphemy, don't bother reading the next uh, paragraph. If you are uh, uh, very strongly against um, uh, like uh, working with Judeo-Christian outlook, then you know um, I, I've got I've got an alternative for you in a couple of paragraphs. You know he's very attentive to his reader and. I, 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 yeah, just nothing but praise for this. Absolutely nothing but praise. And I just can't wait to, um, to, to read more by, by Jason Miller. It's great, great stuff. Absolutely fantastic. There we are. That's my take on Consorting with Spirits, your guide to working with invisible allies. Go buy it. <laughs> it's a good one. All oh, right. Uh, links down below, of course, uh, uh, Amazon associate links. If you uh, if you don't mind buying from Amazon, then um, uh, if you use the Amazon associate links from the description, then I get a small um, uh, a small con commission at no extra expense, uh, no extra cost to you. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.